Hello, Mohin Bhai. Uh, first of all, let me tell you, it is an absolute pleasure and privilege to host you, uh, one of our senior most uh, privileged customers from uh, Bangladesh as Dhaka Bank. And if my memory serves me right, uh, you may be among the first uh, customers from the beautiful country of Bangladesh to be on stage with us on a, on a global forum like this. Uh, and thank you also for being a part of the Reboot Work Festival. Uh, as you know, uh, apart from being a global festival, a uh, celebration of automation, uh, the Reboot Work Festival is also an opportunity for us to hear from senior leaders, experienced professionals like you, on what it took to be part of the journey of automation, what are those learnings, what is it that the others can learn from your experiences. So over the next few minutes, uh, Moin Bhai, with your permission, I will ask you a few questions uh, and try to pick on some experiences for the benefit of of all the listeners out there. Um, so on that note, uh, let me begin by asking you, uh, at the very first instinct, what led you down this path of automation? What were you trying to accomplish? What are the goals you had set? What, what was going through your mind when you set your, uh, your first step in automation? So thank you. Thank you for collecting Dr. Ben for this interview. So, you know, automation, it improves efficiency, it improves accuracy as well as it reduces uh, processing time. So, as bank is a service industry, our main target is to give quick service to the customer, to give proper service to the customer. That's why we have been using several activities to automate our processes. Earlier, what, what we are doing, we are doing, we are automating processing for scheduler, through web service and API. But there are some processes where <laughs> API is not available from our software vendors. So that's what that's we are doing using our manual user by the by our users. But when we heard about RPA, robotic process automation, that can that can uh, re uh, replicate our user activity, what manually doing. So uh, what currently our users are doing, that we try to automate through RPA. Thank you, Moen Bhai. That's, uh, that's great to know. Uh, if I may also ask you, I know it's very early stages of uh, your adoption of automation, but um, would you see this as a potential game changer, a potential competitive advantage for you as you scale this in your organization in the future? Do you see this uh, that way at this stage? Yeah, because because it will reduce it will reduce our time and it will improve the accuracy. Because what we have done, we started with one process. That is in Bangladesh, when we open any account or any new account onboarding after, we have to check the national ID. We collect the ID from the national ID from the customer, which which is image and other information. And we, we have to verify with our national ID database. But there is no, there was no API available from national ID system. So that's we are doing a manual process. We have user ID and password using that, our user access to the system and do the verification. But what we did first, we, we, we use this verification using RPA. So we, we download the data from our core system in Excel and we, process, we automate the process or map the process with the array system to RPA. So after providing the information in Excel, so what RPA is doing, RPA is verifying national ID and the data part, as well as RPA is taking the, the screenshot of the uh, of the system, that is his photo, his signature, his other address and colors, name, address, name, everything. So earlier it was taking longer time, but using RPA, we could do it very quickly and accurately. So we started our RPA process for NID verification. Later on, we automate other process also using RPA. Thank you, Moin Bhai. You know, there is uh, a lot of uh, discussion and a uh, lot of points of view globally as we talk to customers on what is the most appropriate starting point as you start your journey towards automation. Uh, and there are multiple approaches customers have adopted globally. All of them, not of us successful in many ways. But I'd like to know from you, in your experience, how did you decide on where to start your automation journey? Did you have a few processes in mind? Did you decide to take a, a very horizontal approach? Did you go after some core 
business processes, go to the banking domain. What is your thought going by on the way to start question? So I think turning point should be those recording, record, uh, repeating processes or bar processes, which the bank is doing now currently, that can be automated through RPA as a starting point. So I can give you one example. Let's say I already gave one example, NID verification, every day we are open, let's say, to three account, two, 2,000, 3,000 account. But for every account, we have to verify the NID. So we started uh, NID verification through RPA first. Later on, account opening. You know, at the time of pandemic, our government declared. So you have to all government's industry workers salary should be given through account. So government industry, the requests are to open their account. So we got a lot of requests from the government industry to open their account. Let's say 10, 20,000 account we have to open. So manually it was very, it was impossible. We use RPA process to open account. So it took a very little time and from the Excel data, government industry gave us Excel data. On the basis of that data, we opened accounts in the core bank system through RPA process. Another thing, so you know in Bangladesh, uh, Bangladesh government decided uh, lending rate should be 9% maximum. So earlier it was 10, 12, 13, 14 percent. So every account, no, no account, lending rate should be nine percent. So we are, we are given only one one more time. So at that time we have thirty thousand more account. For that account also we, we use RPA process to to, to reduce the loan rate from let's say uh, existing rate to new rate. So thirty thousand uh, loan account rate we changed using uh, RPA. And another one is at the time of pandemics. Um, uh, the government declared for, let's say, April and May mass interest, we cannot charge to the customer. That should be kept in a separate GL. So what we did, we had to give zero interest rate for these two months uh, for the loan, loan account. Loan accounts. So that also we have done for RPA process. So this kind of thing helped, uh, the RPA process helped us a lot. So in Bangladesh, we can say only Raka Bank did all the jobs quickly and uh, timely uh, so clearly you have uh, you know you have a very interesting challenge on, on setting the benchmark relatively high in terms of measures of success uh, by so uh, my next question is really about uh, how do you propose to measure success as you go along this part of automation what what criteria are you looking to benchmark yourself against You're clearly leading uh, the industry at this point in time but what are your measures of success uh, for automation? So currently, I can give another example. So currently, we are closing 33,000 current savings account because these are very old and dormant. So after completing all the process, what will be identified to close the 33 account, 33,000 account, we need, if we deploy 10 person, we need three months. We, we do it manually because for closing account, we don't have any API or web service. So instead of that, we deployed RPA. So we are, we are hoping, we are now closing the account. We are hoping within one month, by deploying two resources within one month, we can close 33,000 accounts. So you see, so if, we, if we did it manually, so we got 10 person for three months, but we, now we need two person. And we can do it in one month. This is this kind of thing. It, it is helping the bank as well as we are we are completing. It is reducing our cost as well as we are completing the job very quickly. So I think it's fair to say that you know very soon we'll be hearing you talk about how you're scaling this uh, automation project across the bank, uh, uh, across multiple process, processes, and across every touch point for your customer. I am very certain that we'll hear you say this about your experience very soon. Uh, my last question, going by, you know, I know this is early stages, but I ask this question to most of our senior customers. Uh, look, it's always a tough call to embark on a new technology, on a new journey, uh, and there are risks and uh, interesting starting points involved. Uh, what is your advice uh, at this stage, going by to those customers, those automation enthusiasts who are looking to make their first steps in the journey of automation? What is your one or two uh, pieces of advice that you'd like to give them? 
So I think, as I told earlier, so bulk process we can take as a first step. So we can identify one process which, which is taking longer time. So um, that that process we can automate first. We can show it to the management and other users also. They will, they will, uh, they will know how it is saving the bank's cost and as well as it is improving the efficiency and other things. So if you can identify one process, one process, that is taking longer time. We can do it. We can show it to the management and other news, and we can take it as an example that that can be used for to replicate other to automate other processes. I think this way every bank can start. So automation, this kind of automation helps bank many ways. One is it is taking less time. It is it is a cost saving thing, and another thing is so. When you user changes, you have to train another person, everything. And but if you if you do one process automate through a RPA, so this kind of thing, if you if any person changes, you, you have to just uh, uh, learn. One person need to learn how to run the RPA, RPA process, nothing else. So it will help banks also. So I think it will reduce uh, manpower as well as. Training and other thing also, it, it will be reduced. You know, as you were saying this, Moin uh, I I'm actually humbled to see that you're already starting to see some of the benefits that uh, an automation journey is to give you. And uh, I really wish you all the best. There's a lot more to come. There's a very wide range of capabilities, as you have seen. And we hope and we pray and we will be with you uh, as you succeed down this journey. Uh, on behalf of the entire UiPath team, I'd like to thank you once again for taking the time. And I wish you all success and please stay safe during this pandemic. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, UA team, because at the time of the mission, UA team helped us a lot. <coughs> so in, in future also, we will get the help we are expecting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.